All right, everyone. You ready for a rabbit hunt? Me too. Let's go. Here we go. Got him. Where did my shell go? There it is. Safety's on. There. I think I just said I hit him too. You can see my, my shot pattern right here. That's a dandy rabbit. Let's see, let's find that. Yeah, there's my shot pattern. I think I just just said I hit him, which is all right. I've taken more rabbits and deer with this smooth barrel shotgun, this uh, Mossberg 500 20 gauge, than I had with anything else. I see some tracks right over there. I'm gonna go <coughs> go around. There's a little opening in the fence line there. I'm going to check that out. I'll do what I did last year. I'm going to lay this guy right in the snow. Let him cool off some. I'm going to come back for him. I got an idea for that one. And the other two I hopefully get. I'm gonna make it up like a chicken soup. Get some chicken broth, carrots, onions, parsley. You know all the fixings for uh, chicken soup. Now here, there's probably rabbits in here. But, I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's all kinds of little holes where they can run around in and burrow, not burrow, but hide out. So I'm not even going to bother with this here, because if they come out, they're just going to go right back into the, into the nooks and crannies of that fence line that stone fence line when you're approaching stuff like this always be on the ready here we go Like I said, sometimes it takes a while. I was just gonna back out. Sometimes they'll bust out. Another decent sized rabbit. Yeah, that is. He's done. His nerves are going. That's what happens when you shoot one. It's not alive anymore. So. All right. Let's go back out in the, in the lane. Almost didn't have that one. I 
All right. I think I peppered him pretty good. I think I shot behind him. Yep. Nothing but fuzz on the back end. He'll have a good back strap though. I'll make sure. Roll him in the snow. All right, that's it. Got my three rabbits. I don't think I was out here 45 minutes. I think it's the quickest time I ever had rabbit hunting, second quickest. Years ago, up by my grandpa, I think I was done within five minutes of me walking into the tall grass yeah and there's no lie that was fun one two three I was done literally three rabbits tagged out limited out well everyone I tagged out let me back up these are some dandy rabbits oh my gosh and that one is full of fleas um this was a quick hunt i just kind of reviewed some of the footage i apologize for not getting the shots on the video i thought i would be able to but i just got to break down and get a gopro yeah but anyways it is what it is a lot of people don't want to see those shots anyways so the thing i like to do like i said well one this hunt went pretty quick normally it takes me a while to even get one or two i've been out here probably 45 minutes if that i would say 45 minutes and i tagged out already i uh i met my bag limit of three here in wisconsin and uh and the things you want to look for obviously are the brush piles that i ended up stomping on you want to hit those you want to look under like a uh, little implements like there's an old manure spreader there and a pile of uh, lumber that may have a little gap underneath and you want to get in get on that and try to stomp on it a little bit without breaking anything and then clumps of grass you know where you see where there's tracks going in or they could have been sitting there for a day even and they could you could step on that clump of grass and it'll bust out look under um evergreen trees there's a bunch of evergreen trees up top there where they'll just sit down and just soak in the sun if well the sun's not out now but they'll just enjoy the the warmth of the sun they have no fat on them all that what protects them is their fur that they have so any little bit of warmth i i'm assuming will, is a benefit to them um what else to look for like i said this there's a stone line fence here if they get in there you're not going to get them out you may get them out with a beagle i'm not certain i never i hunted once with a beagle and that was it and there was no rabbits that came out of that hunt but i don't know like i said i don't know if a, a beagle would kind of wiggle its way through a stone fence or not but nine times out of ten there's oh well, you're not gonna get them out but anyways look for grasses little obstacles brush piles evergreen trees even wood piles going between the wood piles if there's a little bit of a gap anything that's got a little opening to it i'm sure it'll be in there so i'm gonna go home and clean these up i'm gonna put them in a bowl that i'm soaking uh salt water and i think tomorrow night i won't do a video on it yet 
maybe if I have some time on this coming weekend. It's Sunday right now, the 16th of January. I'll do a, a video on how I'll make a soup out of them. And if you look, I'll put it in the, the end, end cards. I don't know, either right here or right here, but I got a, a video for deep frying rabbit bites, kind of like chicken nuggets on them. So. With that being said, get out and enjoy some rabbit hunting. Get out there and get your small game. You know, it's fun. It's good wintertime fun. So check out this video here and here and enjoy the little things.